The road to the Super Bowl continues this weekend. The Jaguars are in Kansas, Kansas City tomorrow, looking to pull off another miracle. Then the Eagles play host to their division rivals, the Giants. But all eyes will be on the rematch between the Bengals and the Bills Sunday on CBS after DeMar Hamlin collapsed on the field in their Week 17 game. The Cowboys and the 49ers will renew their playoff rivalry Sunday evening. NFL on CBS lead reporter, one of the best in the business, Tracy Wilson, joins us right now. Tracy, good morning. How are you doing? Good morning, Nate. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for joining us. Now, there is this rematch that everybody will be watching, the Bengals, the Bills. Now, this comes weeks after DeMar Hamlin collapsed on the field. What are you hearing from the players about their approach and what they're looking forward to in this game? Well, certainly, Nate, it has been an emotional few weeks for everyone and, and specifically for the Bills. I've been there the last two weeks, so I've kind of seen their progression. And once they saw DeMar Hamlin on the road to recovery, once they saw him back in Buffalo in person last Saturday at that walkthrough, there was a big sigh of relief. I think a lot of that emotional toll that's been wearing on them has somewhat eased, and they were able to get back to normal. It wasn't the best game for them against Miami last week, but certainly they feel like they're just playing football now. DeMar Hamlin just on the road to recovery. But I can tell you, if he shows up at this game, it is going to be electric, and there will be emotions flowing in that stadium for sure. So no word yet on whether or not he's going to actually be there. That is true. No words yet. Uh, there was a lot of talk last week when we were there whether he would show up. He did watch from his home. But I was told that he has been in the facility every day with the team, not in meetings yet, just getting back to a little bit of normalcy for himself. So we will all be waiting to see if Jamar Hamlin walks out of that tunnel or is in a box and we see him on the Jumbotron on Sunday. Yeah, we'll see. Sunday night's uh, game, the late game, is Cowboys 49ers. Dak Prescott of the Cowboys, star quarterback there, a veteran. And then you've got a rookie on the 49ers. Uh, goes by the nickname of Mr. Irrelevant. You're going to have to explain that one to me. We're talking <laughs> Brock Purdy. What are we looking for? Well, Tony, I'll tell you, Mr. Irrelevant, because he was the last pick in the draft. And what an unbelievable job he has done for San Francisco. Now, San Francisco has so many weapons surrounding them, a lot of help to provide this young rookie quarterback on their offense specifically, and then their defense is one of the best in the NFL. But this will be a challenge for him going against this defense of the Cowboys, led by Micah Parsons and the pressure that he brings. It is one of the most anticipated games of the weekend for a reason. Dak Prescott, as you know, Dallas and America's team, well, certainly he can't, he's coming off one of his best games, I think, of his career. If he can do that, go out there in San Francisco and play without making mistakes, utilizing his legs, they could pull off this upset against the Niners. Tracy, the, the East Coast fans are all about the Giants versus the Eagles, uh, that Turnpike series. <laughs> what can you tell us? What needs to happen? The Giants have lost two. Uh, what, what do they need to do? Well, Michelle, Giants have not lost in Philadelphia since 2013. So that says mm. a lot. It is a very hostile environment down in Philly. As they say, the buses roll in, and you don't know what's going to be thrown <laughs> at those buses. But I can tell you the Giants are playing with a lot of confidence. You have two coaches right now, and Nick Sirianni and Brian Dayball, who I believe should be in the Coach of the Year conversation. Daniel Jones playing with a lot of confidence, but certainly going to be a huge challenge on the road which against a Philadelphia Eagles team that is extremely balanced and the Jalen Hurts quarterback who is coming off a, a little bit of rest, a shoulder injury, and says he is ready to go. Tracy Wolfson, you are one of the best in the business. We appreciate you. Looking forward to you on the sideline as usual and maybe even the Jags pulling off an upset in Kansas City. Um, all right, we appreciate you. Thank you so much. You can catch me and the NFL Today crew this Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern leading into CBS Sports' coverage of the Bengals-Bills game on CBS and Paramount+. Big weekend of football.